Hello friends, today I have the privilege of sharing with you one of my favorite prayers in all of the Bible. 1 Kings chapter 3, Solomon right after he became king. Check out part of this prayer. I am but a little child. Give your servant wisdom that I may discern between good and evil. I love the humility. I am but a little child, even though this dude is now the king. I love his passion for good, even though he's the one who gets to decide what is good for his people. And then I love, as a pastor, his heart for the people. He wanted to serve God's people well. Man, Solomon was off to a blazing start. What a beautiful beginning to his reign. But he didn't finish well. I mean, eight chapters later, things are not good. Now, eight chapters represented 40 years. Uh, the temple is built. There's been peace during the entire reign of Solomon, but he doesn't finish well. So then in chapter 11, verse 9, the Lord was angry with Solomon because his heart had turned away from the Lord, the God of Israel, who had appeared to him twice like he knew God and had commanded him concerning this thing that he should not go after other gods. What happened? Solomon worshiped little wooden statues which seems ridiculous to us. But back then, they worshipped little wooden statues represented supposed deities who would make their lives better. How did that happen? Because of 700 wives that Solomon took on. When he did that, he violated God's design. One man, one woman, for keeps. And... He married women that were from nations that God forbid. And in that, he's disobeying God. So you read those eight chapters and it's like, good, good, better, 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 better. And then all of a sudden you come to chapter 11. It's like, yeah, 700 wives. Boom, the nation busts apart. That can so happen to us. Like it just seems like good, good, gooder, better. This is awesome. And yet along the way, we didn't see it coming. But we've made mistakes, and suddenly, like many times, just suddenly, it just blows up in our face. So this weekend, when I was teaching the story of the rich young ruler, I encouraged us to, hands open, palms up. God, is there anything? Like, is there any little steps that I've been taking that have me off course that suddenly it might, might blow up in my face? I encourage you today, Spend some time with the Spirit of God, hands open, palms up. Lord, is there anything, any way that I have I've taken a step away from you? Is there any place that I've been disobedient to you? Is there any place that I've been clinging to something? Like, rich young ruler, is, is there something you bless me with, but now I'm, I'm just hanging on to it? Is there a relationship like Solomon that you told me not to, and at first I thought it was okay, but now I know, like... God, show me. Is there busyness? Like something that was good and active and wonderful, but now it's in the way. Hands open, palms up. I even shared this weekend, is there, is there a sin of unforgiveness? Is there, is there racism that I'm clinging to and I didn't even see it? Spend time with the Holy Spirit, palms up. Now, as you're doing that, do not allow Satan to whisper in your ear. Do not allow him to, to accuse you for keeping what is a gift from God. We're looking for things that are in the way. Your father is a good father and he loves to bless you. Don't be falsely accused by the enemy of enjoying a blessing from God. We're looking for a blessing or we're looking for a step we've taken that is away from God, not toward God. Let me pray for you as today you take opportunity to spend time with the Spirit, hands open, palms up. God, I thank you for my friends. I thank you for this journey that you have us on. And Lord, I pray today that you would give us opportunity to spend time with you, maybe even a, a, a pad of paper and a pen, writing down just the thoughts that come to mind as we spend time with you in prayer. Protect us from the enemy who wants to accuse us and make us feel guilty of, for enjoying the blessing that you've given us. What we're looking for are the things that are taking us away from you. Show us, O oh God, 
Take us on this journey of discovering more of what you have for us. Thank you for your blessing through Jesus, and it is in his name we pray. Amen. Enjoy your time with the Lord today. And remember, with Jesus, you cannot lose. Have a great day.